I want to speak about the face of the waters the, and darkness being on the face of the deep. Isn't that how it is for us as human beings? And when it comes to human psychology, we see each other's face, but it's the face of a deep that is dark to us. We don't see each other, we see a face. We see a face. And the depth of human psychology remains unknown. We don't know it of other people and oftentimes don't even know it of ourselves. The depth of who we are. And what has to happen? Well, you might say the story of creation is what has to happen for us to know ourselves, to be ourselves, to know each other, and to become humankind. You might say, well, we already are humankind, but in some way we're not. We are some broke down car version of humankind. So there's darkness on the face of the deep and the whole process of creation happens because the Spirit of God moves on the face of the waters. Spirit of God moves on the face of the waters. What is the Spirit of God? Well, we could answer that in so many ways with so many words, and yet at the root of it all, is it not the fire of love, the Spirit of love? Is not the Spirit of the Creator, of all creation, ultimately the Spirit of love that's behind everything? The Spirit of God moves on the face of the waters. <clears throat> well, with each other, what else do we have to work with? We have the face. We have what we can see. But we're going to start there. We're going to start with what we get in touch with, with each other. And then we're going to allow the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, to move and penetrate into the deep so that it, the deep can begin to be illuminated and so we can know ourselves and know each other. When the Spirit of God moves on the face of these waters and through this deep, that deep illuminates. I can know myself, begin to know myself. I can begin to know you. I can stop living in the surfacey world where I just see faces and personality and don't enter the depth of what we have to share together. <clears throat>